Let's say, you're shopping at your local mall. Do you ever wonder how the merchandise ever gets there? Today, we'll be taking an insider's look on the global brand and powerhouse for self-expression. Claire's, known for its youthful jewelry and fun accessories, the company operates under two brand names, Claire's and Icing. I got the chance to talk about this side of logistics that is overlooked with some of the representatives who are a part of the intricate and complex operation that is handling Claire's logistically. So first off, if you're not too familiar with the term logistics, Javier Perez gives us a simplified definition of the word. Logistics is the movement of product uh, from the vendor throughout the final customer. So the vendor would be the manufacturer creating the product all the way through the final consumer, which would be the person purchasing the product at a store. The logistics team tells us exactly what they enjoy about the logistics world. So it's never the same thing every day, and yet it is the same thing every day. Logistics is a complicated field, which I really enjoy. I love solving problems, and supply chain is a problem-solving um, part of any business. It's important to note that the logistics world comes with lots of usage of Excel. They elaborate on the functionality and downsides of the software. Um, actually, Excel is key in our position. It's a very powerful way to communicate uh, and do data analysis and manipulation, which is what we do a lot of. Our Inability to have an effective warehouse management system is tough uh, because then we end up doing a lot of things manually and we have to look through thousands and thousands of lines of data. Uh, so it does become kind of a burden to us to be able to do our job more effectively than we do it now. Along with what the team enjoys about this field, there are many obstacles that they face within this realm of work. They elaborate on the challenges. One of the main obstacles that we've incurred for the past couple of years is uh, COVID-related uh, supply chain issues. Right now, staffing is a, is, is a problem that we all have to kind of get over because people are looking a little bit more short-term at their careers and they're bouncing around from company to company. Um, we've had a lot of turnover, um, which means people have left and we have to refill their positions and that has taken some um, additional time. Without having all functions running properly, we all have to kind of carry our weight and some of uh, different positions, which kind of makes it difficult. We have the team also rate on a scale of 1 to 10 how stressful the position really is, 10 being the most stressful. It's about a 2, but that comes from where my experience is from. <laughs> but the product itself also is uh, a very much, for me, a stress reliever because I'm used to oily, dirty, metal, all sorts of huge things, and now I'm talking about Squishmallows, backpacks, and earrings. So it's a big difference. I think it varies throughout the year. Um, at this time right now, given that it's kind of slow, I would say maybe five, six, not very much, but at times I, I think I've reached up to nine, nine and a half, maybe even ten. Um, so it, it is stressful, but not the whole time. Previously, I would give the stress level above ten, so nowadays, uh, try and maintain anything around five. So now that you know where and how the products you shop for come about, don't forget about the journey that item had and the tedious work someone put in for that item to be right in your sight. You can thank me. I'm Alexis Gonzalez. Thank you for watching.